Yes. Is this a recording? Hello guys, what is up? Here's Bayan. Today we're gonna show you how to repair the dryer where we remove uh, the tiles and now we have all this like you can see. We gotta remove all those papers. It was a kitchen in here, so we just gonna move the kitchen somewhere else. And now we had tile for backsplash, now we're gonna make this smooth. So it's a little bit of work, but we're gonna show you the process by remove the paper. That way on the end of this video, guys, you know how to do it. A knife like this, and uh, we just try to remove all the loose stuff. Whatever is, is loose, I mean like here's a, a dent, we just remove it as much as we can. It's a little bit of a process. You can see it's broken. We're just gonna remove all this out. Whatever is on the way. And if the part is too big, we just cut it and put a little piece of drywall. There's two ways to do it, either we remove all the drywall, put a new piece, or we just repair this one. In this case, we're just gonna repair it, because it's just like easier. Here we have, um, sometimes we have problem to dispose the old drywall, so this one we're just gonna clean it up, pre-fill it, and load with tape mud all at the same day. Okay, we're gonna... We will show you how we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna show you once it's clean, we show you again the process. But base, we're just gonna remove all the loose stuff. Yeah, we're gonna remove it, clean it, load it, and then we're gonna show, just give us a, probably gonna take us about 15 to 20 minutes to clean this place up. We have this guy here, trowel. It is a nice piece. I have this one for a very long time. And we have a hawk, just a regular hawk. And uh, very much we're gonna fill in this hole. Make it pop up and uh, if you are on the middle of the job, we just find some leftover stuff. We just try to clean as much as we can. Because it's still gonna be a little bit left over. I know it doesn't look 100% right now, but this is what it is, we just go Just gonna scrape it out, right? Later on, make sure it is straight. And then we just load with a dry oil compound. Like you guys can see, like if it is a little hole on the, on the, on the concrete field, just go one more time again. All the time that you load it. 
You can do it right away to help to look nice, see? I will show you guys here, like, here's rough. Just go with next coat right away, so. It looks way better. This one, I just, I just, you can pick up the concrete feel like this. Oh, you can just go Or well, you can go something like that. All right. This is a six inch knife, usually a little bit better. Oh, it goes here. This one is a big hole in there. I show you guys. I'm just gonna put the. Uh, a little bit mesh tape in there, just to make sure this not gonna give us a headache. I just show you guys here, if it's in case you guys just miss something, don't worry, all the time you have this stuff around. Just right there. Okay. So here you have a, a plug, just be careful with the plug because this could be a little bit dangerous, you know what I mean? Here we gonna put the first coat to use, fast set, concrete seal. So you're just gonna load it all from end to end. Put them on and try to straighten up as much as you can. There we have the first coat on the patch. Like you guys can see, done. Tape is covered. And we just need to, we're gonna wait it set and then we're gonna put a paper tape run a paper tape on this corner where we cut the drywall. We just need to wait for this to harden a, a little bit and we're gonna be all set. Okay, we did the clean up, looking good like you can see, just a little bit to have better workplace and I'm gonna show you guys what happening here. In this situation when we remove the tile with some loose paper, see how it is moving, this is a uh, it's nothing underneath the paper is just loose from the drywall. Don't worry, just dig it out. Just remove this part that is loose paper. Know that we have it out. The concrete feels is still soft, so what we're gonna do here, we just come with a little bit. Just uh, load it up and uh, if we see more spot like that we just keep just moving it like you guys can see here's another one you can see it moving right behind there like. so we're just gonna go I'm gonna pop this guy out look that I'm just gonna remove the loose paper. Yes, because sometimes we remove all the stuff, but there's still something behind, so all you do here Let's pretty much, much is just enough to cover the hole. If you have, if you put more than you should, just, uh, let's see, like I can put a lot, and then I'm just gonna try to make it as smooth as possible. Just that way you guys know what happened, so 
In case this happens when you're doing the job, don't be too worried, just clean it up and redo it. It's not, uh, nothing too crazy. Like we see a few spots, because sometimes when you remove it, because the damage of the tile, we don't see that paper is loose, and then uh, it's done. Yeah, I still wait for it to set. Like, but I can show you guys something. Like, we have some concrete here. here. I just show you guys. If you'll be able to do it. Show you guys in here, like this is, if you think it is too rough, even before dry you can go and do another coat. Any holes that you have would help fill in. Because all the time, even if you do it tight, all the time you do it, there's a little bit mud would stay there. Like you guys can see here, see the difference? I'm just gonna load. And then I'm just gonna, even though we have a lot of mud, just, we're just gonna clean it up smooth. Just to show you, if you have something like that, just run the trowel. You should be able to remove pretty much. Oh no, it's a, a way flat. You can see the difference from this one that I put an extra coat. And this side that just has one coat. So in this case, we have um, we mixed a little bit more than than what we need for the job for the first coat so I'm just gonna gonna use it uh, I'm gonna load one more coat and that way it looks better and I would use uh, less mud I show you here like you can see this part is not a uh, little bit hard what you can do, you just can grab it, mix, mix, mix. Don't have to grab the drill again, just mix it on the hop. Now you have a good product to work with. This one here, just like I say, I have the extra product, so I'm just gonna The mix with the hand is not very good because with the, some part leave uh, some part that is not mixed that great. You can see here, just the part that I mix with the hand. It's a little bit off, but once we put it on the wall, we just spread it nice and straight. I have extra material and it looks way better. You can see here, this part here have one extra coat. This one I have nothing. You guys can see what is the difference. This is a fresh, just two coat, fresh concrete fill, and they already can see the difference. You see, one coat, second coat on top of a wet concrete. So the difference you, you guys can see the difference right there. That's this is good. what to use. A light comes very handy. We can show you the side here. You can see on the dark how it looks. Without lights, just the regular lights on the seal. You don't see much. <laughs> Maybe this is the way you should keep it, but we gotta do better than that. So we have a good light and then I guys show you. It's just like this side here just have one coat of uh, concrete fill. And I'm just check to see if I can find some more loose paper in here. That way I can remove it and repair. You guys can see the difference that the light makes. You guys can see the difference. The 
and we just turn the light on right on the floor just like uh, other thing that I recommend is for this is a regular light bulb it's just a uh, it's not very safe to have in certain place. This one here is just concrete, so we are okay with it. But uh, I would uh, I would recommend just buy a good uh, LED light, LED, right? That is just like uh, a way better, doesn't get hot. This one, if you touch it, would burn you. So this is not, uh, it's not ideal, it's not safe. I just gonna, Probably you guys not gonna see us use this this anymore because it is not safe to have. This is a 300 watts light bulb, but uh, like I say, I do not recommend to have this because this is a fire hazard. So we need uh, something better, at least not with this uh, extension extension light. We need something better to to cover it, not this way. I am not leaving much mud in there, like you guys can see. It's just to make sure when we send, we're not gonna have a lot of fish eye. You guys can look. This is it with the skin. And, uh, this side we don't have it yet, so you guys can see the difference. You guys can see the difference right there. That has a scheme, this one has none, so. This I have the skim there. Here I'm gonna do the finish coat on it. So I'm just gonna load it good. Okay. The mud is a little bit hard, just the way I like it for this type of job. Because when you guys do, when we do like that, is uh, is on top of a fresh concrete, so we need the mud to be a little bit harder then uh, if we're doing a new job so we just load it we just run the trowel No, this time we just leave a just a little bit of a compound on top of the skin so we just go There it is guys, so now we just have to come back and uh, do a little bit sanding and job will be completed. Yeah, we scraped the concrete, so this we're just gonna do one sanding and we'll be done in here. I just saw at the same time and uh, if you do this way, you would not have a fish eye. It would be, would work great. Fish eyes, they are a little bit uh, small holes that they stay on the mud, and then when you start painting, it showed up. This is why it's really important to do this process. Otherwise, you will not be you will not be able to do it in a, at the same time and looks good without touch up. So. And then we go to this side. We're gonna do 
the same way. First we skim it nice. Like you guys can see, this time I put all the mud and I remove. It's very tight, so it's just a skim. The objective is to do the job, and then we don't have any fish eye. A little bit harder pressure this time. Just uh, put a little bit of pressure, that way you have all the mud going inside. The... Because the concrete feel is hard, <laughs> it's rough, so usually stay a little bit uh, fish eye. Hello, here we are, like just thank you for watching the video. This is done, let's see how it looks. Yes, we just load this mud, we, we did the, we did the concrete fill repair. We put some tape like you guys see on the video and we did done the finishing coat on it. And uh, probably in two, three days, because we have a good heat in here, we'd come back and just sand it and then paint it. And then we just complete the job. Uh, this is how you repair the damage where the tile were removed. And uh, you do not have to like, if the drywall is a little bit damaged like this, you, don't, you do not have to replace all the drywall. So we have a, we do have some product, like you see the concrete field that is good to repair big holes of some damage. They work very good. And uh, this is how it is done without have to go and buy a piece of drywall, repair it, dump it. So here we, we didn't have any dumping, we just repair what was there and the way it's done. At the same time, probably the, if you do this way, would be less time than if you have to go buy sheet dryer, cut it, dump it. So this is a, it's just another another way to do it. The other the other way to replace the dryer work great. Just this one is just a, another way, another option to do it besides replace all the dryer. Thank you guys. If you like this video, put your likes, and if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. That way you can have a great content, great new way to do stuff. And thank you very much for your support. See you on the next video. Remember just to suggest, if you have any suggestion, just do it. Let us know if we do something to improve this video. Just make your comment, we are here to learn, we learn together.